episode of Discover Finger Lakes. I'm James Kenny. Good radio. And we are here for a new episode, season two, episode three. And we've got a few trails to show you and a historical place. Now, we've got some good news. Our, uh, I did a campaign to boost our YouTube channel. And as the result, we have, and it was for season season two episode one and what we got out of it was 1299 views now these views spread out through all over the world uh, people in uh, Russia watched it people in Canada uh, India was one of the countries that uh, had a lot of views uh, Argentina and Brazil and of course, the United States. Um, was Mexico? Mexico was in there. Was it? Mexico was. Oh yeah, Mexico yeah. was. And uh, I, I, we we're pleased. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we're we're getting there, and so um, and we're going to do that again eventually, I think. And so now um, we just want to thank everybody for um, watching our channel, and also this episode we're going to have a special guest. Uh, his name is Matthew, and uh, he's a really interesting uh, fella. We think you're going to like him, uh, and he may uh, actually join us uh, next year. We'll have to see. So now, um, let's get started with this episode, and we hope you enjoy it. To get to Clark Gully, take 245 to the south end of Canandaigua Lake, and Sunnyside Road, across from Niagara Vineyards. Sunnyside will split into West Ave, where a DC parking area is located. Now, when you leave the parking area, you cross the bridge, and once you cross the bridge, the trail will be to your left. Um, it's a little more rugged than what we're used to, but, <laughs> but, uh, no, tired? <laughs> Brady's not used to it, but, it's different from what I'm used to. But that's where the adventure comes in, yep. isn't it? All right, so we just continue. said we are off the beaten path. Uh, this is really fun. And uh, you should come here because this is really nice. Really nice. Which way is that? Um we'll go that way. We'll go for lunch. Alright. <laughs> the adventure continues. Some history about Clark's Gully it was named for Frederick Freddie Clark, who discovered it. He was either the brother or cousin of Mary Clark Thompson, the mistress of Sonnenberg Mansion in Canandaigua. And the Thompsons were a large family from the Naples area. Freddie, in folklore, was accredited with taming of black snakes. Thank you. 
Now the third set was a little difficult. I had trouble getting up up to this point. And uh, Brady decided he couldn't make it up there. But I heard that beyond this point, going up, that the climb gets harder and should be for experienced hikers. Maybe someday we will come back and attempt it from the other side. All in all, I think this trail was a very nice place to visit with lots of picture taking opportunities. How does a canal lock work? A canal lock connects two bodies of water at different elevations by creating a water level of sorts. The water inside the lock can be raised and lowered independently, allowing ships to make the transition between elevations without the danger of traveling down rapids or the difficulty of streaming up hills.
got this historic lock, lock 60. And this is what we really wanted to show you. Um, the lock 30 uh, that we just showed you is kind of neat, but this right here, uh, I really wanted to come here and uh, just uh, do a little walkthrough. We're going to explore this just to see how it, how it is, and you could probably imagine. Um, well, we're right on the Erie Canal here. Now, so imagine that you are on the tour, and you uh, you get off the boat. Now I'll show you where that's at. So this is this is the 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 boat dock that I believe a lot of people stop and uh, look at that look at that view isn't that pretty? Erie Canal. So just imagine if you were to get off the off a tour boat and you walk up here and you see some signs say Lock 60 historic site. And then there it is. Really interesting, I think, uh, to say the least. It, uh, but we're going to go up here and see what this sign is. It talks about Lake Erie, the Erie Lock. So, Erie Lock 60, through these hollowed chambers past untold thousands, built in 1821. Clinton's Ditch Lock Number 71, 1841 Erie Enlargement Lock Number 60, and 1874 doubled, 1888 lengthened. So as you can see, they went through the Erie Canal went through a lot of changes, and there looks like this trail. So let's go see if we can get a closer look at this. Um, Interesting. Very interesting. Now I'm standing where a lot of water used to go. It's just really a, it's a, something else. So we're going to play a little music and uh, we're going to walk through here. Lock 60 is one of the finest surviving locks of the enlarged Erie Canal. Opened in 19, 1841, the lock was later doubled and lengthened to meet the demands of canal traffic. Each stone chamber is 18 feet wide by 110 feet long. The lock was abandoned in 1914 and replaced by Lock 30 at, of the Erie Barge Canal. Visitors can walk along the old towpath, explore the massive double lock, and touch the place where repeated use of tow ropes carve grooves in the limestone lock. Okay, so this segment, we are at Indian Hill, and uh, it's a nice sunny day. It's not cold or hot, but 
Um, I have a special guest that I want everybody to meet, and uh, I met I met this uh, guy at work, and uh, he wanted to go hiking, so I'm going to introduce you, and he can tell you a little bit about himself. Hi, everybody. My name is Matthew. Um, yeah, I, I work with James at Lowe's. Um, I I really enjoy uh, hiking outdoors and stuff. I'm also kind of a bit of a nerd and a geek, but it's cool. So, all right, very good. Uh, it's good to have you, Matthew. Really Thank good you. to have you. So uh, this trail is not a very long trail. It connects with the Crescent Trail, and we're gonna we're gonna hike this. It's gonna be probably about a 1.6 mile trail. So uh, once you come along, we'll we'll have some fun. be easy but I find I found that the uh, roots that stretched across the trail could be a tripping hazard so walk with care Butter, maple, um, maple peanut butter, and apple butter. Maple, yeah, peanut apple butter. butter. Uh, it's good. This is so good. Um, yeah, we have we have encountered mosquitoes, and it never fails. Sometimes I forget my spray. Matthew forgot his spray, yeah. and uh, so we're just sitting here, just sitting on the ground. Just uh, looking around, it's a very nice trail. I'm sure the way mosquitoes. <laughs> what do you think about the trail so far? Very nice, I like 
Good, good. Brady, you're missed. You're missed, buddy. See you next weekend, next time. <laughs> um, but yeah. So yeah. Um, like I've been telling Matthew at work, we do a lot of hiking and biking. And uh, Matthew does some biking, doesn't you? Yeah. yeah. He does some biking. Um, good exercise, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, we just uh, wanted to chit-chat for a little bit and, you know, uh, just enjoy nature. That's what we're out here for. And uh, so, all right, we're going to continue on. on this trail it's been all nice wooded area dense and then we come on this a nice hilly flat plain 
a nice change from the wooded areas. Now through our journeys and adventures, we've stumbled upon different species of plants, birds, animals, and edible berries. But this right here is something that's very unique. Matthew spotted it first, and somebody did a lot of work. Very interesting pile of rocks and stacked rocks something very popular that people are doing today it's it was very nice to see something like this out here
right, so we uh, we're actually to uh, we're going back to the car. We just wanted to tell everybody thank you for watching the segment. Matthew, do you have anything to say? Uh, it was great to be along with. It was great to be along along on this little hiking journey. It was a great little adventure. Uh, Good. Love the love seeing the love seeing those amazing rocks. You guys will see. Yep. And I uh, also, I, I, uh, we got to, we got to pet a horse. Somebody was riding a horse. It was nice. So yes. You never know what you'll find on where you're hiking, as they say. So It's true. Happy trails. Very good. Okay, well, this concludes this segment. And uh, we will uh, move along. All right, so this is our, the conclusion of episode three season two we had a great time um the the uh clark's gully was fun and a little treacherous wasn't it brady yeah, it was. and i'm proud of brady because he did a good job uh we did do some climbing not a lot uh but it was fun um yeah like i said if you do come out to clark's gully and somebody will be Yes, do not come by yourself because you could get lost. There's several trails, there's markings. Um, come with somebody. Well, or less than what we're doing. Yeah, if you know, if you know if you've been here with other people before, uh, just make sure you um, are safe. Mm -hmm. So now, our next episode will be um, episode four. Um, just uh, watch the ending of this. We will show you some previews. And uh, we're sure you're going to like the next episode. And so uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and um, our Facebook page, YouTube. There you go. <laughs> so just go on there and uh, continue to watch us, like us. Uh, we appreciate everybody that, that supports us. Let's so that one episode. Some oh, movies. yes, the th 1,299 views. That was great. So, for James Kinney, Radio. we'll see you next time on Discover the Finger Lakes. time on discover the finger lakes we take you to the schoolhouse for the seneca heritage days and then to bear hill to the unique area for a special ritual and then we take you to learn about seneca indian culture And finally, to a special nature area.